Redstone Noob says, Dumb theory. The T-Rex was about to become a snake before it went extinct. <laughs> okay, so the video he's commenting on, we, we learn about the reduction of legs in snakes and in legless lizards. And we learn that that reduction of legs is triggered by natural selection working in environments that are very cluttered. So like, like this grass down here. Organisms that live in here, if you're a lizard that lives down there, you're better off not having shoulders that get caught on things, arm that get, arms that get caught on things. You're better off slithering through that type of an environment. And in particular, if you're burrowing, if you're burrowing in sand, if you're burrowing in loose gravel, it's very beneficial to not have arms. It's kind of counterintuitive, but we've figured this out through experiments and so on. So we know this for reptiles, for small reptiles, so the, probably the origin of snakes and most certainly the origin of legless reptiles like legless skinks and so on. It's loose soils and high debris ground cover that selects for this. In the case of T. rex, we don't know. I mean, we can learn about something in one species. It doesn't automatically apply to another species. There's so much diversity in biology. There's so many different things that are happening. It's possible that this lineage was just really good at using its legs for stuff and was using its legs for most things already, but we don't know. There's lots of debate. If you get on online and try to Google this, you'll find lots of different ideas being tossed about, but there doesn't seem to be much consensus on why T. rex's arms are so tiny.